Evening all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome along. Look who's here. It, we've got a crew. It's not just me doing the bloody <laughs> intro today. We've got the crew in. We've got Jamie. We've got Simon GTR. The StreamYard link is about to pop up on the side chat wall if you haven't seen it already. Uh, StreamYard link is up. We can get 10 people on tonight. I have paid for my StreamYard. I don't do freebies. Um, but we've got everybody here. So ZX9R, Slow Riders here, Reese is here. Um, if you want to jump in on the StreamYard link, only conditions is you've got to be in the side chat for at least four weeks. You've got to have your camera on before you come on to the stream. We don't have any James with the nips anymore. Um, <laughs> and it is an over 18 show. So must remind you, if you don't like what you see on the screen, click the little red X in that top corner up there. Um, we are live on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. We're streaming over three platforms. Again, it's over 18. It's not for children. Adult jokes, C-bombs, F-bombs may occur um, during the entire show. It's adult jokes. It's literally like the boys going down the pub. If it's not for you, click off. Or as Simon says, if you don't like what you see... Fuck off. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. We're instantly demonetized in the first 15 seconds. Um, it's about bike meat. Now, obviously, this Sunday is the bike show at the <coughs> Mobile Cycle. So Sunday the 7th, we're starting at 10, finishing... Three, four o'clock in the afternoon. It depends on how, obviously, how many people disappear off at the end of the day. Uh, but between 10 and 4, we've got all the bikes out. We've got all the Viper gear out. Um, we're doing 10% on clothes. If you order a bike, you get your first service for free. There are loads and loads of freebies. We've got the discounted helmets, discounted gloves, discounted jackets, loads of freebies. But the best bit is you get to meet all the big famous YouTubers like this guy down below, Simon GTR 1400. Andy GSA Tractor is coming along. Um, we've got the TikTokers coming. So we've got Pips Jixer, S1KR Rider, Five Foot Thief. He can't make it. But I think Ducati Girl and Gem and all that lot are all coming down. So we've got some big major names coming down. And I have been told that Katie Morris Racing may be coming down as well. Mental Health Motorcycle are coming. And also we've got the Henry Allen Trust, the Cancer Trust for Henry Allen. So loads and loads of stands. We've got a burger stand and a coffee hut, which is good. And we've got someone providing the music. So we've got a live DJ all day playing the rock tunes and all the decent music, doing loads of promos. And talking of the man himself that is going to be coming, Mr. Big YouTuber is the one and only Andy GSA Tractor. He's going to be coming along on Sunday as well. So loads of badges yeah, if you want. Stickers, badges, anything at all, um, come along and see. And with a bit of luck, um, Boo may be coming up. So Barry Darby, otherwise known as Boo Rider 61. Uh, we'll try and get Boo down there with his uh, S1000RR. So uh, loads of people uh, turning up for that. And the very, very good news, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of promotion here, a little bit of self-plugging. Um, I don't normally plug myself, but... Um, I think that's sexual. No, no, no. Oh, not, not, yourself, right? They're illegal in some countries. <laughs> um, <laughs> we obviously sell Viper gear. So we uh, Motor Heart, which do the Viper helmets, the Viper jackets and all the gear. Um, they have asked me to be the ambassador for the brand. So thank you very much to Kevin, who is the area rep, Helen in the office and the management team, um, who are sending me out the latest Guard Explorer adventure jacket and trousers. 400 quid's worth of gear for me to trial out and see it. But he obviously said to me, he said, do your review on it. If you like it, you like it. I said, you know that I will do an honest review. If I don't like the jacket and trousers, you're not going to know about it. Um, but he said it is obviously um, up there with sort of the biker gear that I've got, um, which is this shit, this shit behind me, um, my Australian biker wear. But he said it is as good as that. It's got all the CE armor. It's got twin thermal linings. It's got vents in it. It's got a jacket. It's got all the pockets. It's got a little back pocket behind the jacket that you can tuck stuff in, which I haven't got on that one. Um, and it's all fully CE armored and 100% waterproof. Well, nothing's ever 100% waterproof, but we're going to get it out. We're going to try it out, and we will see what it's like compared to our this screen here. <laughs> if you buy, if you buy a decent set of Gore-Tex gear, it's one hundred percent waterproof, guaranteed for life. Right. Well, that's what this is. It's full Gore-Tex. So yeah, we're going to give it a try. Not we're going to. It's not. Yeah. We'll if try. You can get a full suit in Gore-Tex for four hundred quid. I'll buy ten suits off you now. Throw them on eBay and triple my money. <laughs> we'll see what it's like anyway. 
Um, but I said to him, I will give him a, an honest review. Let's just roll through some of the stuff that we've got on the side chat. So my bike stuff, rain wait for Spocket Bikes can't it's come up. Oh, reason. sorry, Simon. Oh, well. Uh, bringing my neighbour down with his GXR 750. That would be good, Reese. Bring him down, mate. We've got loads of uh, room on the uh, the forecourt for it. Um, plug yourself away. I will. Raise Motor Life. If you haven't seen one of the... Uh, the big channels, Ray's Motor Life in America. He is a really good channel. So, uh, obviously, go and follow Ray's. Um, I do love when channels come on and just give them a little bit of a plug. So, uh, let me just jump onto my YouTube channel and bring up Ray's channel. So, uh, Ray's Motor Life, here we are. As soon as you put Ray in, it pops straight up the top because I watch it uh, constantly. Subscribe to his channel. If you want to subscribe to Ray's Motor Life, he is at 600 and 24 subscribers. I'd like to get him to a 1,000 by the end of the month. So um, there we go, guys. If you are watching this on the rerun, there is down there for you. Ray's Moto Life. Follow him on YouTube. Give him a like, subscribe, and a share. Um, but he does some really good stuff as well. Paramedic Relics here. Howie. Uh, black bean bags, 100% waterproof with the A-Cortex. <laughs> Thanks, Howie. Um Welcome along to everybody, though. Don't forget, obviously, click the thumbs up if you do come in on the stream. Any questions you've got for all of these guys here, then if you're into BMWs, this guy can answer your question. If you're into Kawasaki GTRs, speak to this guy down here, Gen 2 Kawasaki GTR. And if you're into Lexmoto, obviously, Jamie rides an LXR and he's loving it. Um, there was a post on, I think Simon might have seen this earlier. Some guy had got um, a Kawasaki he got the standard 46 top box that comes with it. He said, oh, but the thing rattles. And I went, yeah, don't go over 130 on that because your top box will come <laughs> off. Um, they have the standard. Um, there's two ways to give you do it. They do a monolock and the monokey. The monokey is just two plastic tags that fit in the front. Standard Kawasaki toolbox. It's good to have 120, 130 mile an hour. What you need is the Givy or the Shad. Um, which is a monokey system that fits in. I've now got the V56 on mine, the Maxia. I'm waiting to put me, um, me lights in in the top box because it comes with a rear tail light and indicator kit, but I've got to wire that all in yet. Um, but if you want proper aluminium top boxes, then have what this guy's got down below, the full BMW kit, and it's absolutely massive. You can get two helmets in that top box, um, but loads and loads of bits and pieces. Um, Simon's just said, have you ordered your electric BMW scooter yet, Simon? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that answers your question. I used to like uh, you, Matt, Simon. You can fuck off, man. Do one. <laughs> <laughs> Matt MT Belly is here. Matt, the uh, MP3 is going to be up for sale in about the next week. It's a 500, and it's only done, I think, about 7,000 miles, mate. But um, I'll WhatsApp you all the details over of that bike. We need it because we've got to do a Class 3 MOT on it yet. Um, so we've got a new testing bay going in, which means we can now do trikes, uh, three-wheeled vehicles on a Class 3, but we're waiting on that to do that at the moment. Um, Reese has just asked, um, I recommend a shad top box. Grabbing the, uh, If you want to talk shad, then I think Simon's got a shad on his. Yours is shad, isn't it, Simon? No? No, no, no. My boys have got shad boxes. I've got a givey. Oh, you got the give you got the V fifty six like me now. Yeah, yeah, great bit of kit though. I mean, the shade boxes are okay. Um, my boys have both got their their bikes. I've picked them for them. Um, they carry the the kit and everything else, and yeah, bolted straight on. So it's really good. weren't cheap um, because they both had to buy the complete kit with all the arms. One's got a Kawasaki Z thousand, and one's got a Kawasaki J one two five. So um, mm. yeah, had to buy all the kit, fitted straight in. They're good little boxes. Good, yeah. Givy, Givy is a good bit of kit actually. When you when you get round to actually looking at what you know what they are against the money, are made by Givy. They're just branded by BMW or Kawasaki or mm. they're just branded. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to it, you can find the exact same model from Givy. The thing is, because yeah. obviously I tried packing everything. I tried my camping gear out this week on the bike. Oh. I can get everything in apart from the tent. And someone said to me, what you want to do is buy the little top rack that goes on top of your top box. Um, and you can Bar literally box, yeah. Just, yeah, just bungee cord it on. Now, 
it happens to um, under here. Obviously, we did what's hiding under your desk last week. Um, <laughs> I've now got my chair, so I've got myself a full chair, proper chair. And um, but down there, that's the size of my Kayam, so it's not that big, but it's we weighed it, it's 12 and a half kilos. Um, stick so that across I, the back seat. Stick that across the back seats and strap it to the grab handles at the back. That's the best way. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, put it across the back of the bike rather than hammer that on the back of the top box. It takes up no room. You stick it on the top box. In any hotel. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah. Your your top box. Your top box um, is still only rated for ten kilo. Yeah, so you got to be careful what you put on it, isn't it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Across the back seat, then. Oh well, yeah. Uh, surprised you ain't getting a chain. If I could put a tow bar on the bike, I would. Um, or do what, you can. Do what Andy, it's possible. Do what Someone's Andy done does. it. Yeah. Forget the camping gear and just book into a four-star hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd do. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm watching the uh, England and Sweden game on telly, and I just want to book into the Swedish women's hotel room with a camera. That's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus H. Anyway, <clears throat> for those of you that are watching, if you do want to come in, jump in on the StreamYard link. We'll put it up one more time. Um, if you've got any questions for these boys around me and you want you want to ask a few questions about bikes or what is the best bike to buy, uh, then obviously give us, give us a message on the side chat and we will answer your questions as well. Um, I did have a look. I normally tend to look at MCN, and I didn't even bother tonight. It's full of crap tonight. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're not going to do the parish news, as some people call yeah. it. If you want it read to you like a bedtime story, send you straight to sleep within the first two minutes. Go over to TMF and watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I wasn't going to say that. Um, bless him, though. He is suffering from a sore shoulder at the moment. He's like, oh, I've, I've rode too many bikes. I've got a sore shoulder. Uh, how many of us oh, have had like back pain? Shame. I know. Yeah. How many of us have had like back pain and leg pain and and it's like, oh yeah, right, okay, fine, fair enough. We just crack on and ride, and you know, you don't. Oh, my my back hurts, my shoulder hurts. Um, John's is a bit random, but a full throttle. How quickly would a one two five automatic scooter accelerate? Um, I actually did one on my feed. Um, we did the Titan. How? What's the max speed? We did it on Stuart's, um, Stuart that goes up Super Sausage. We did it on his old Titan. Now, that thing's done, like, I think 40,000 kilometres now. It took us about 20 seconds for us to get that up to 60 mile an hour, but it did take a bit of time. Um, most 125s, whether it's a geared bike or a scooter, um, is going to take you 10 to 20 seconds at least to get it up to 40, 50 mile an hour. They're not the fastest bike in the world. Um, oh, quick one there. Um, Ray's just said, what is Simon GTR's channel link? I can find that for you very quickly. So we'll give a quick plug for the people that are on our, on our stream tonight. So if you want to go and follow the man himself, Mr. Simon GTR 1400, very easy. Go on to YouTube and type in Simon GTR 1400. And the link is up it's there. It's the same the right across all the socials, Facebook, um, Instagram, and um, TikTok as well. So there you go. There we go. They're Simon there. GTR 1400. Um, if you happen to want to follow Andy on his BMW, and I was watching, I tend to follow a lot of the Moto channels that have got these like crash things. Um, I was watching one the other night, and lo and behold, there it is. Andy's coming down the street, and a van comes past, and the next one is a water van park. Oh, you fucking near killed me there! Um, Andy's video is still Andy's video is still going out there. It's still hitting the major channels of him on his BMW anchoring up. Um, if you want to follow Andy, that is Andy's channel, YouTube.com. Andy GSA Tractor. And, of course, if you want to start to follow Jamie, uh, Jamie's Biking Adventures, and it's spelt slight. Someone said to me, as he spelt it the right way round, it's deliberately spelt bike-ing rather than B-I-K-I-N-G for that deliberate yep. reason. Um, so if you want to go and follow Jamie, Jamie's Biking Adventures, the channel is posted up in the side chat for you now, which is that one there. So, Jamie, 
bike and then ing adventure all one word jamie biking adventure go give him a like subscribe um and follow all the boys on the channel so yeah um so just subscribed Simon. you know what jamie i'll subscribe to you uh there you go. Start that again I wasn't subscribed to you, Jamie. I do apologise. I am now. Hey, it's all right, mate. Uh, yeah, depends if you drop your bike. Uh, to drop your bike from a thousand feet, it takes about five seconds to hit the terminal velocity, which is 120 mile an hour. Um, <laughs> which is why women have to uh, <coughs> shut their legs if they skydive because they whistle on the way down. Otherwise, <laughs> why's that? <laughs> what is that? I, I ain't saying. I ain't saying. Uh, I'm looking for an explanation now. <laughs> you dug your own. Now come on. Why is that? Uh, yeah, I'm not saying. If you've ever seen the McDonald's burger when you squeeze it, mate. McDonald's burger, more like a fucking rotten kebab. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you need to leave that woman if it's like a rotten kebab. <laughs> so, uh, cush drives are not meant to have any no you don't grease the cush drives no they're meant to be just bland bare basic rubber no grease on them at all yeah bare rubber no like lubrication it. just like it's somebody you don't like there you go yes yeah exactly so yeah you never ever grease your cush drives um let's just have a quick mercy and fit cush drives are, by, are they meant to have grease on them absolutely not no fit them dry um, good bit of brake cleaner in there. Clean it all out. Smack the cush drive in. Put the sprocket over the top. Job done. It's as easy as that. Unless, of course, you have a shaft drive bike like Andy, Simon and me. And you you don't worry about that sort of thing. <laughs> Still got cush drives in them. Yeah, but not not like the big <laughs> rubbery things that you normally get. Uh, oh, no. Lily's in the room. Evening, Lily. Good. Uh, I mean, you know, so Lily's always here on the uh, the stream, so that is good. And he's just disappeared. I don't know where Hi, he Andy. is. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone off to uh, refill the whiskey. I think probably. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> he's uh, probably found out where the Swedish hotel room is. So he's he's, he's uh, probably yeah. He's uh, oh, I've scored. <laughs> 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 Got to see if he can score. <laughs> right, a couple of things. Um, I have been chatting on the motor vloggers group, and Jamie's going to know what I'm on about. Um, the Sinis, the Sinis terrain, and I can't give away too much information on this because it is uh, it's slightly top secret. Um, but Sinis have basically lost the brand. Um, the Zhongsheng factory that manufactures the Sinis, um, they no longer wanted it. So it has been bought by Mutt Motorcycles. So Mutt yeah. now own, Mutt own the Sinis brand. Any news on them, uh, WKs? Um, they have a new one coming out. I think it's either May or June. So it's a replacement for the SX125. Um, I can't give away, same thing again, Andy, I can't give away too much. I'll try and ping you a photo on Monday. Um, but well, the new... She's, um, she's, she's, we're coming over Sunday. She's going to check out what you've got in stock. There's yeah, have a look there. at what we've got, yeah. Um, yeah but there's nothing there. She's going for the Yamaha, so... Yeah, the new WK don't come out until, I think, about June, because uh, if you didn't know, Euro 5.5 has been pushed into the country now. We're not um, in the Euros, it don't matter. We're not even in the bloody common market anymore, and they're still pushing Euro 5.5 on us. Um, to which in, means they're uh, still you using the Euro 5.5 rubbish with all the U lists. Yeah. Um, the thing is, with MOTs now, um, we had a reminder this week. So if your car is a, um, basically a diesel, um, and on your door pillar it says 0.5 emissions. If we test it now, we have to add 0 0.05. So it's now tested at 0.55 for the Euro 5.5 standards. What a load of shit. Most vehicles go through at 0 0.02 and 0 0.03 anyway. Um, but with the bikes now, they're saying no, not point five. Um, the Euro 5 is no longer required. It's now Euro 5.5 on new bikes. There is no difference on the engines whatsoever because the bikes have already been met to try and beat Euro 5 as it is. So they're, they're going absolutely stupid with these new European laws and they're just talking well, about I've got it. my sticker anyway. I've got, I've got my um, clean air sticker for France. I got that last year, but that's a lifetime sticker on the bike anyway. Yeah. 
it's it's ridiculous what they're trying to push through at the moment. Um, Blake Spipes is here. Evening, Blake. It's good to see you, buddy. Um, happy Friday, Blake. Yeah, yeah, everyone's saying happy Friday. Um, we have currently, uh, we've got uh, 30 people watching. So if you are sitting there watching, jump in on the stream. Put some questions in the side chat for us, peoples. Um, Simon just said, what was it? Fly Eagles, Fly My Friends, uh, Rangers Knocky doing out this year is good in both sports. Hey, I uh, hope so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, now <clears throat> we should be, um, we'll probably have to be on for about another half an hour or so, but I have been told that Roly is going to try and get on tonight. So that'd be nice to catch up to Australia and, uh, let's get Roly and that on the stream as well. Um, house guest be... tomorrow. what's that? What's that, Andy? I said, ain't you got a house guest tomorrow? I have a house guest. Yes, I've got this yeah. guy um, over here coming to stay Saturday night. So we've had to move all the washing off the bed. Right. I'm going to I'm going to ask the question that everybody wants to know: Who's the big spoon and who's the little spoon? <laughs> he's got he's got a whole double bed double bed to himself, mate. He's got the whole one to himself. <laughs> That's not what we've heard. That's not what we've heard. <laughs> Let's just hope uh, when you get there, the hot tub is empty. Hmm? Oh, no, the hot tub, the hot tub will be on for tomorrow night. Don't you worry. <laughs> it's definitely not mayonnaise. <laughs> now, you look what's floating on top of it before you get from, in it. Baby? What's that? Where are you travelling from? Southampton. Oh, okay. So you're coming up past me. Yeah. So you'll be coming up. You'll be coming up M25, M1. All back roads because I'm on L plates, so I've got to take. Uh, the uh, the so you'll be coming, you'll be coming up yeah, through. I think the route it's taking me through is like Winchester onto the A35 and like somewhere That's up it. that way. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> James, yeah. watch out for the hot tub. <laughs> what, 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 yeah. What's your ETA at Revs? I don't. Know, it's saying about uh, two two hours. Oh, 15, it's fucking internet. Hey, Tom. Yeah. How's it going? Just ask me the safe word. Yeah, LXR, mate. LXR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should be with you. Once I leave here tomorrow, I should be with you in about, I think it's two hours, 15 minutes. I think it's quoted me. So. <laughs> safe yeah, word. You'll find that's a nice ride ones. all the way up through Oxfordshire on the A34. You'll enjoy that. Hmm, there's yeah. always traffic on there and you get to do a bit of filtering, so. Well, I confused myself last night because I looked at the route like, to see where it was taking me and it was going on about road closures and I was like, please don't say all the roads are shut. And I think it was in the group, group chat, I think it was it Simon on there where it was uh, pointed out that it's road work. So I thought, thank God for that. <laughs> I was a year, yeah. I knew it someone pointed <laughs> out and I thought, thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. You'll no, be I've, fine ridden up, I've ridden up and down that through that way quite a bit. It's, it is, there's a lot yeah. of road works around there, but just stick on it, you'll be fine. So. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, so he was. I hope so. I hope so, Blake. So I hope so. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> if they don't win, it's sack a lot of them. Start again. <laughs> exactly uh, that. Sorry, <clears throat> Andy will get his internet. Ball. Andy will get his internet back in a minute, and uh, we'll get him back on. He's got too much porn running in the background. That's his problem. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Yeah, he's got loads. Of, yeah, he's probably. He's the only person I know that finished porn up. <laughs> 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 oh, oh he's, he's probably moved on to OnlyFans now, yeah. <coughs> uh, I had some good news this week. Do you know they stopped my work at the agency because of the operation coming up? Yeah. No. Well, they've now reconsidered it and they're putting me back out to work next Wednesday. Oh, excellent. So, good result. Yeah. yeah. It's only for two weeks, but it's still got like, two weeks more money coming in, isn't it? It's, so, yeah, about to say, it's, you know, if you can work, yeah. then work, yeah. Exactly yeah. that, rather than sit about and uh, watch TV all day. Oh, it drives you nuts after a while. <laughs> oh, tell me about it, yeah. There's only much, so much Neighbours, Home and Away and everything else you can watch. There's only so much <laughs> YouTube yeah. can watch too. I think I started re-watching some of your videos the other day. Oh, God. Um, I that's why, that's why I mean, that's real desperation, that is, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I came across... Um, let me just jump on my YouTube because obviously I tend to watch a lot of the um, the smaller channels. Um, yeah. And where is it? 
We actually found a really good one. She's um, she's called Wild Bear with an E on the end. Um, and she does a lot of like where she goes out and does like camping with a tarpaulin and that. But yeah, I was like oh, watching yeah. it. I'm like, oh, all right. So we're, we're off skinny dipping in a rock pool now, are we? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll skip past that bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, she, she does some really good camping stuff. Yeah. Uh, but the one that white. The one that I did find, and I've got him saved in my favourites. Uh, now I'm f currently following 329 different channels at the moment. Um, is this guy? Oh, Gruffalo Scoot. Um, so he's got a GTR 1400. Um, it's a Gen 2 as well. He doesn't do a lot. Um, obviously, the last one he did, I think, was about uh, 10 months ago. He does little shorts every now and then, but I've been catching yeah. up with the stuff that he does. Um, but for someone that rides a GTR 1400 like me and Simon do and really puts it through its paces, um, yeah. if you're into the GTRs, there we go. Gruffalo Scoot, um, that's, the, that's the one to follow. <laughs> he hasn't, puts it he hasn't paces. done anything. Really? Else, sir. I'll tell you what, right, ever since... The first of April, they've put our internet and everything else up, and it's shocking. It just keeps dropping out, so I'm now tethered to my mobile. Ooh. Ah, that that would help a little bit. <coughs> it, it, um, have you tried closing down some of the porn in the background, Andy? If you want, mate. <laughs> have you tried closing down some of the porn you've got running in the background? See if that helps. No, because I'm, I'm uploading at the same time, you see. Ooh. <laughs> But no, the thing is, the boys <laughs> upstairs all on PlayStations and Xbox. And I'm down here trying to stream. It's a joke, but like you're paying 90 quid for the package for your broadband and it just drops out. It's shocking. So I've connected it to my bloody phone. <laughs> yeah. It actually tethers better off your phone than it does off your internet. <laughs> <laughs> so right, if you can get on. 5G on your phone, it's better than most home broadbands anyway. Yeah. yeah. I've, 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 oh. You say that my phone's now connected to the frigging internet. Yeah, wake up. He's gone. <laughs> um, what's your mileage now on the GTR side? He's frozen. <laughs> uh, just over eighty-one thousand. Oh bloody hell! I'm at I'm at forty-three at the moment, so I'm catching you up. But obviously, you read. Well, I've been ring riding your... all week. <laughs> yeah, you ride yours every day, don't you? Um, bloody. Re rebooted the internet and the bleeding phone connected to the internet and started freezing up again. So I've just had to turn the bloody Wi Fi on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus H. Christ. Can, can, can we set up a, an OnlyFans or something for Andy's internet so we can get him a better internet, please? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crap. It really is. There we go. Last time, minus 75,000. Bloody hell. Yeah. But my bike's only nine years old, so there you go. <laughs> right. Uh, so she's um, going like to get a lot of TLC this year, that bike. She really needs it. There you go. Let me just jump on uh, a few more of these um, channels that we follow. Um, another good one. Um, yeah, I've been yeah, Matt. Yeah, it's virgin. It's shit. <laughs> oh. uh, where's Patrick's channel hang on let me go to that one so um, Patrick's most of us know him as uh, Motor Ramblings he tends to come in and off the stream every now and then uh, but let's share his channel up so that's, this is Patrick's channel um, Motor Ramblings um, very good channel to go and follow and he gives you something to watch during the mornings as well so Matt Ramley, um, Matt just said, Andy must be with a virgin. Andy doesn't do virgins, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like a bit of experience. <laughs> um, Matt just said, yeah, they fuck around with it at the weekend, which is why I'm with Sky. Yeah. Oh, younger, older. There we go. 17 plate GTR. He's under 26 found. Very low when I bought it. Um, we actually caught up with Younger Old, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. He was down at Super Sausage, so uh, good to catch up with him down there. Uh, oh, the man himself is in. Here we are, evening or only on the 10, Sally. I'm planning on coming on with you on the 24th of May. A mega heads up. Yay! That'll be good. 
Mm. So, yeah, yeah, good day out there. Um, so, that is the, uh, I think that's the Motor Rev event, isn't it? 24th of May. Is it, Am I right, John? Mm. I think that's the uh, the Wales Weekender. Ah, let me have a look. Uh, I'm yeah. to know you. That's campy. Me and Andy won't be there. <laughs> exactly oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm too old for that fucking intense dib 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 dob 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17, oh, 17th to the 19th is the um, the Motor Rev event. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, 17th to the 19th is Motor Rev. So I'm going down for the Wales weekend on that one. 24th of May you'll be with us. So, yay. Right. Uh, another quick question here. Um, Connor's just said, hi, big fan. Just wondering what bikes you ride. Jamie, tell them, start it off. Uh, I ride an LXR125. Simon? Uh, Kawasaki GTR 1400. Andy? Uh, BMW R1250 GS Adventure. There we go. Um, GTR 1400 Gen 1. Simon's is the Gen 2. Uh, I've just done a search on the Virgin and it's just come up with uh looks like there's an intermittent signal issue in your area. What a shock. Been at it for mm -hmm. a fucking week. You know, we can't even play our Disney Plus because for some reason Disney Plus and Virgin Internet are saying that we're not actually in the UK, so it won't play. Mm. Have you got um a VPN running? No, not not through not through my my router. No. Well, get one and put it on whatever you want to watch it on, and then select your region and do it that way, and it forces it to tell you what what country you're in. It's good, pretty good. I got one. Right. Let me just post this. Up. Um, where are we? John Diard McLean. There we go. He's actually in the monetization bracket. He's over a thousand subs. Hey. Oh, what the hell happened there? What the fuck Hello. happened there? Put, right. another, put another 10 bob in the meter, Jamie. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. <laughs> right, here we go. Let me just share this one up. Um, John Diehard McLean has just done his uh, latest video. Um, so that's the link there. Click on that. Your, uh, his stream um he goes in and does uh, a couple of uh mutter vlog and a few name drops um and he's like oh i'm sure i'm sure peaky and uh rev are sponsored by dji no we're not sponsored by dji we just prefer the cameras to gopro uh elk pigs is on the channel tonight there we go evening all just in from where evening buddy. Hey, good to see hey, you hey. Uh, Andy, have you ridden the F900 yet? No, not my cup of tea. Um, Peaky has. It's not a bad bike, but... I do too much to up riding to, to have something like that, unfortunately. Yeah. I prefer the 1250. I do like the 1250s. I'm really getting into the, uh, the BMW scene at the moment. Uh... You're that far south from me, even Disney think you're in France. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus H. Uh, da, da, da. Um, brilliant if you want a 50-50 bike, yeah? Yeah. Nope. Uh, just like, I, don't know, piggy bag, I mean, you'd never take like, a big GS adventure or big GS in any extreme off-roading anyway. They're just too big. They're all right for light stuff, but they're just too big. But yeah, if I was going to do off roading, I'd have a dedicated bike for it, two fifty or three hundred, because you'd be picking it up. I wouldn't go out yeah. and spend twelve, thirteen grand on a bike I want to throw down a track. That's for sure. The thing is, one one of the best green laning bikes, and they've been around for absolutely ages, is the Honda CRF four fifty. Everybody has a CRF four fifty, and they just, they just. They literally just hammer the hammer the lanes. There we are, uh, or the Vogue three hundred. Yeah, ideal. You don't need a big bike for green laning. I guarantee that ninety five percent or even higher of all sort of like big GSs that are ever bought will never ever see any off road into any any sort of serious extent. Hmm. There you go. <clears throat> 
Unless, of course, you're... Um, buy a bigger shed. There you go. Yeah, buy a bigger shed. <laughs> that's it. Cheap and cheerful. Exactly that. That's what I mean. You want something that you don't mind that's going to fall over and get scratches and dents and have a bit of plastic chip off. You you know, you ain't going to go and spend 20 grand or 15 grand on a bike and and then you're just going to be worried about damaging it all the time. It's, exactly. Oh, that. God, I've, I've scuffed my <laughs> car. Oh, yeah. You don't want to be doing that. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, 3700 from No. That's not a bad price. Yeah, that's, really. that's a lot of dosh. I think if you're sort of starting out, I'd go and buy like a thousand, spend a, have a budget of a thousand pounds, buy a second hand fucking off road bike, play around on that. You'll yeah. have just as much. Yeah. Especially if you've got, you know, if you've got another bike like, you know, a GTR or a GS or something to use other times, I don't see the point in it. Hmm. Yeah, go get yourself a nice, cheap little scrambler, get a daytime MOT on it, and off you go, yeah? Yeah, that's it. That's what I'd do. Ideal thing to do. Uh, uh, Lisa said no, Ray. I'm incognito. Yeah, Lily doesn't have a channel, but she likes to come in and just uh, drop her comments left, right, and centre. Um, and Lily's, Lily's been around on our channels for absolutely age, I think about two, three years now. Um yeah. Peach just said, look at the green lane bikes, cheap. Yeah, very cheap at the minute. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, Matt Sarf, you've said, dog wants to walk. If not, have a good weekend. Thanks, Matt. Rolling yeah, nice roll. Hey. We've got the man in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, the one and only. Robin Big boy himself, yeah. Changed, him, changed his name up, but uh, yeah, we we know who it is. Now change the role. Um, if you haven't, oh God, the latest video from Rolling Throttle, I've got to tell you about this one. Um, we obviously started for, because uh, all the suspension technologies and everything that they're doing out there. Um, now, originally, Rolling Throttle was Hells on Two Wheels, but he's now got the channel absolutely rocking like a fat one. It is blasting along. Um, 2.64 um, K subscribers. But the last one he did, and it's um, – they do a lot of these, like it's, – it's basically a pod it's, – it's a bit like a podcast. Um, and there was one I was watching the oh, – here it is. And I, I was, like, looking at this, and I'm thinking – you are so spot on. Little things like the shorts that he does. Um, I've got to share this one up because this absolutely, I was like, you are so darn right. Why left hand threads are not good. Um, and it's very true. Would you trust anything with a left hand thread when you've got it on the back of your bike? Absolutely not. Um, but go and check their channel out, guys. Yeah, rolling throttle. Uh, let me just bring the main channel up. There we go. Copy that. There is loads and loads of stuff to watch in there as well. Um, but the shorts where they do their little interviews, it's you. I tend to sort of flick them on at work, and it's like, oh, he's got another short up. He's got another one. Ah, oh, brilliant. So there we go. Rolling throttle uh, on YouTube. Rolling throttle. Go and subscribe to their channel. But some of the stuff on there. Um, things like the performance hangover show at Daytona Bike Week. Um, that's a good one. Um, Lone Star Rally. Uh, this is some of the really old stuff that I've been following. Um, but go and have a look at some of the new stuff as well. So the latest videos and things like um, they did a thing about hand signals. Are hand signals the future of communication? Uh, now, Peaky did one, um, and it was like, you always wave with like two fingers down or you give the bike a knock. There was a guy riding around Milton Keynes the other day and I was like, I've got him on video. Hey. Um, and this guy's riding round. He's got a little, um, it looks like a three, 400. And he's walk, He's riding around and he's going, giving the left hand. What, what biker gives like the little left hand wave? You don't wave to bikers like Nancy Faggot. You, get, you either give the bike a nod, which is what the British do. No, 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 no. It's perfectly on. acceptable to do the enthusiastic bike wave. Yeah. <laughs> you're all yeah, or the I'm going to be fucked very soon wave. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, normally in the States, it's normally. Because uh, someone said to me, why do the Americans do it that way, two fingers down? And I went, it's because keep two... Two wheels down, two wheels Rubber down. Rubber side down. Yeah, it's exactly Rubber what it is. Down. 
Yeah. Uh, but it was like, this guy's riding around and he's like, I'm like, really? <laughs> At least he's saying hello and being friendly. Exactly. 50% of the miserable bastards out there won't even nod at you. Oh. <laughs> uh, especially if you ride a BM, you don't normally get the nod from BMW riders. Get a finger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You peasant, you can't afford a GS. <laughs> you go and sit in your tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do if you ride a gold wing. Yeah, I've got a gold wing. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Paramedic rally. It was TMF waving at the kids. <laughs> no, he does it like that, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, oh rolling. I'm in Orlando again in September. Oh, brilliant. Um, Goldwing riders will toss an arm up and wave like they know you. It's that. Um, <laughs> I was in Super Sausage Cafe last Friday. Nice little stop on the end. bit pricey. The bacon, but yeah, the bacon, the bacon rolls are really good. A little bit pricey, but um, the Royal Wave. Yeah, if you ever noticed, the Queen always did the Royal Wave in the car, and it's and some and Jim Davidson actually cottoned on. He said uh, the Queen's actually not waving to the people as she goes past. She's going. Oh, Jesus, Phil, it stinks. Get the air out of here. You <laughs> 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 uh, can come over and check the shop out. We're celebrating for me. Ah, oh, 40th birthday in the shop when you're only about in the end of this month. Oh, well done. Happy 40th, mate, for the uh, end of April. I'm 60, middle of April. Yeah, I've only got another 15 days to go. Big old 6-0. And I don't wow. look a day over 50. You old bastard. I thought I was old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't see the nod from most BMW cruisers and scooters. I wave to everybody. I nod and wave at everybody. Uh, oh, Jamie, we, we've all moved position now. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> now? Oh, we're going round in circles now. Um, Andy, Andy's Andy I must warn you, while you're below me, I'm wearing nothing from the waist down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't look up. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday, bloke on a bike. Oh, brilliant. Um, John Dyer McLean, BMW face when we come up. Yeah. Uh, let's see, bloke, I, I nod like I've got a broken head. <laughs> <laughs> the old Churchill dog. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Right. Oh anybody, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, 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 no. If anybody wants to come and jump on the to a bike, isn't it? You've got to do the long nod because you don't want to keep doing that. It's just yeah. sort of like. A... Oh, there we go. Streamyard link is up, guys. Anybody wants to jump in on the link tonight? You're very welcome to do so. Um, there we go. Thank you. Uh, you're really fifty. Living fifty years. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I'm a proud daddy today. The parrot actually told my son to fuck off for the first time. It was brilliant. Rev. <laughs> Rev. Check yes. Out, check out the motor vloggers group. GB's just put a message on there for you, for us all. Oh, right. Hang on a second. Let me just... Uh... I didn't want to read it out on air just in case he doesn't want it aired everywhere. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, give me a second. It's not good. Uh, that's not good. No. Paramedic relic, why are you feeling rough? Leave the fucking little red dwarfs alone. Little dwarfs <laughs> alone. Yeah. Uh, Stop feeling happy instead. He always gets left out. <laughs> Oh dear. That's because I got my phone on mute because obviously I'm on live stream. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, Stu just messaged me as well. He said, uh, Can you do me a favor? Can you comment on Ray's Moto Life logo? I made it for him. Uh, oh, let me have a quick look. Let me just drop to. 
uh, raised Mario like so if you're into um the logos or anything uh let me just bring this one up let me just share the page on this uh presents share screen uh raise motor life here we go let me just share this up so the logo that is down here that was done by z head um so z head's doing uh, loads of logos for everybody at the moment if you haven't seen the uh the new rb logos um and i've been sharing it everywhere on the road um, on the motor vloggers group but i've also burnt it to a coaster this original screen was designed by z head so Stu did that hey, hey. Right. i've got loads of if you want one on uh, if you want one on sunday i'll get your coaster andy i've got loads <laughs> of the damn things do, do my ones i can stick it in the bar yeah, I can I can knock you a couple up by the weekend, mate. So yeah, um, if anybody does want any graphics, um, obviously for a small for a small beer fund or a little bit of scotch, um, speak to Zed Head and he will. Uh, I'm sure sort you out. Sort you out. Um, oh, quick one. Pete's off some dinner and shower. See you later, buddy. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Um, hopefully pete is all right because he disappeared off the motor vloggers group but uh someone said you know he just wanted a bit of time out so um i tend to leave people alone until they contact me so give them a little bit of space nothing worse than someone says i just need a bit of time on my own next thing you know you've got 14 people pestering you oh you're right mate you're right they don't need that so um if you do need anything he knows where i am i'm on the end of the phone but um, as, as you know, I did it. I did it for nearly a year, or nearly all last year. I weren't about and just needed time yeah. away. And it, it does you good sometimes. To just it back, does, back, yeah. Back. Um, paramedic would come on, but feeling rough. Oh dear. All right, let it. Let, you know, let us know, Howie. Um, That's so rotten, isn't it? Anyone doing the Dave Myers ride out on Sunday? Unfortunately, not because we've got the bike show. Um, bloke on a bike's doing both. Here we go. Um, there is one on June the 8th as well. We'll probably go and do that one. Uh, a bit of a wiener fest. <laughs> we'll be doing that one. Yeah, we might do the June one. Um, uh, see how it goes. But obviously, uh, got a few I won't be doing that because I'm, I'm off to Spain on the bike on the 9th. So uh, I'll be heading out to Portsmouth. Uh, Dinner sorted. All right. Uh... <laughs> anyway, Viva La Spagna. Right, that's that sorted out in the side. Um, we've got a few things going on in the background that's on the Bloggers group. What was that side? So what can we expect on Sunday, Rev? What can uh, we expect on Sunday? Wind, wind well, and possible showers. Oh no, sorry. No, 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 no naked car wash, unfortunately. But we've got, oh, um, oh. we've got the burg uh, same person we had last time doing his bait and rolls, cups of coffee, tea. Uh, we've got mental health motorbike and all donations. If you've got a donation, give it a mental health motorbike. It won't be like the Pulbra run uh, where they put six grand in the kitty and uh, mental health motorcycle only got three grand back. Uh, no, oh. all the pro. Yeah, all donations are going to mental health motorbike, and they've got. Um, they're not bringing a stand; they're bringing the two bikes for mental health motorbike with the flags on them. And uh, I think Laney's coming up with her partner, so we'll have a couple of bikes there. We've got Henry Allen uh, Charity, the Cancer Trust, come in. DJ, um, all the bikes are going to be out. I'm going to wheel the Harley out the showroom and put that on the yard so everyone can see the Harley. <laughs> Uh, all the new Lex Motos, all the jackets, trousers, boots, gloves, uh, discount crash helmets, um, and all the TikTokers and YouTubers. So if you are coming down and you're a TikToker and YouTuber, bring some bloody stickers. <laughs> <laughs> people, people, people always turn up and go, have you got any stickers? Can I follow your channel? And that is the quickest way for all the YouTubers and TikTokers to get follows is by bashing the stickers and badges out there. So... Hence why I'm burning shit lots of coasters for everybody. So um, I'll try and get you at least 10 done, Andy, so you can give some away or whatever. Um, race just <laughs> for, if I've showed up with the mankini, will I be kicked out? No, they'd probably be hanging out though, Reese, if you've got a mankini. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to clash with me if he turns up in a mankini. I was planning on doing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, close with him. Uh, okay, yeah, keep the clothes on, mate. <laughs> but we've got, um, I think Pip Six has come in, S1KR. Um, uh, try and get R1 Clarky down as well. Um, but it's normally an absolute hoot down there. The last one was so big, it, it went into the yeah. garage next door. We had bikes next door as well. My fluorescent green mankini is um, he's up in the loft, I think, at the minute. <laughs> It'll be good. Um, I, I actually wore that to, uh, to to our mate Kieran's wedding. <laughs> and a green picture as well. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> he, he didn't believe we were going to do it, so I turned up with about 20 other bikers all dressed in fancy dress, fucking minions and everything. Yeah. And we all sat in the back of the church. Uh, his fucking wedding, and he loved it. It was funny as fuck. It was, so it was very funny. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was a really good day. Mm. But if you do, uh, let me see if I can share the screen on this one. So let me just jump onto there, present, share screen. Uh, let me just find where the window is. There we go. So. Bike show, Sunday, 7th of April, 10 till 4, full display of the bike brands, clothing, helmets, more, uh, hot and cold drinks and food, music all day, come and meet the staff and some of the YouTube and TikTok bikers. Uh, Address is in the top left, so basically Tavistock Street, Bletchley, just up from Tesco's. Uh, discounts on the day, we're doing buy a new bike, you get 10% off your first, uh, you get um, first service free. Buying any gear, it will give you 10% <coughs> off of it. Giveaways, donations to mental health sure. motorcycle. And if you happen to have your kiddie with you, I'm sure there's going to be a few Easter eggs hidden around the yard uh, for the kids I'm to go and try. To look for them, then. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for them. I'm going to find them. Fuck it. Fuck the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, did, like, I did see there in the small print, it said if you turn up, you get a free bacon roll and coffee. Is that right? <laughs> oh, if, if you happen to know, mate, I'm sure I can sort out a few bacon rolls and coffees, but uh, yeah. I'm um, we right. have got um, Mikey's coming, so Mike Pace of uh, Coffee For You, so uh, very good. He, he was there last year, so it's exactly the same guy. He's a lovely guy, um, and it doesn't cost you the price. It costs you if you go to Super Sausage, and you still get a decent bacon roll and a cup of coffee, so... And he does he does all the different flavours, so you can have a caramel one, an almond one, a nutty chocolate one, or yeah, does all the coffees and a good old PG tips as well. If you happen to like a cup of tea, he does PG tips. He don't do any of this cheap uh, as the tea bags. So uh, that should be it. Should be a good old event. So uh, we're going to go on for about five minutes more because obviously I have got a very long day tomorrow. Um, someone has got to put all the bikes away and brush the yard down and put all the cars around the back ready for Sunday. Um, so it's about four <laughs> hours. A job for Jamie when he gets there. Uh, he can muck in an elf, actually. I'll probably have him sweep in the yard. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, we'll come up early enough. I don't mind giving you a hand, Rev. Yeah. There you go. Um, I thought I'll pop into the shop tonight because I do like my American drinks. I thought, right, I'll get myself a root beer tonight because I love the A and W American root beer. Oh shit, it's spilled everywhere now. <laughs> Bugger. I've just dribbled all down the front of my trousers. And it's not the first time. Uh, but I've got myself I thought, ah, oh, get a root beer. You get it home and you find it's a cream soda. It's like, oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Someone needs to change their glasses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's just. Um, have a quick look through. Uh, you look great in it, mate. Uh, Blake's pipe. Speaking of that, I think Roland cutting in. Uh, and you know, oh, did my first lesson on the compound with a six fifty yesterday. Not been on the road yet. Well done, well done, Angela. Good, good on you. Yeah, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Right. Um, plans for the weekend, Simon. Apart from coming down to us. Um. Um. Up the hospital again with a wife tomorrow. Been up there today, and then see you on Sunday. So. Excellent, Andy. Uh, we know Andy's coming down for the uh, the bike meet because he wants his coach. Yeah, tomorrow, uh, I've been over down today, but tomorrow I'll try and get in the garden, get some stuff sorted <laughs> out there, and then. Excellent. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Sunday. Yeah. Um, and obviously, Jamie is riding up to us tomorrow, so that's yep. going to be fun. If you happen to see him on the way from Southampton, coming up the Milton Keynes on his little LXR, give him the bike a wave. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 It'd be great. We might, we may jump on. Uh, it might be TikTok, or we might even jump on YouTube tonight. Me and him. So it won't be from the octub. Put it that way. But uh, we, we <laughs> might, we might do a couple of quick videos of us together, and uh, obviously having a good time up here. Um, I'll chuck. We'll get some food in for you anyway when you get up here, Jamie. So. Yeah. Don't have to worry yeah. about eating, mate. We'll grab some food in or get a take. Yeah. We might even bring go some around lube, the pub. Yeah. <laughs> bring some lube, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably end up going around, go around the back because the pub is literally a 200 yard walk from the house. So we might end up yeah. going to the local pub. Go around the back with him. Yeah, it's dark up there. <laughs> There's no lights up there. Watch yourself. <laughs> it's village. It's a village. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's um, a village so, pub for village people, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Simon. Give us your outro, mate. I'll keep it rubber side down, shiny side up. Andy, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, till the next one, ride safe. Lovely. Uh, thanks everybody for coming in, Angela. Well done on that. Um, Obviously, thanks to JDM, Peaky, Bloke on a Bike, Paramedic Relic, uh, Blake's Pipes, Slow Rider, Lily, uh, Zenix 9R, Reese, JDM, Rolling Throttle, who popped in very quickly. Um, but everybody in the side chat, thank you very much. MT Belly, uh, who else did we have in? Simon Brackett. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's about everyone. Oh, of course, Ray's Boat of Life as well. Uh, but thanks, everyone, for coming in. It's been a really good Friday night live stream. Uh, have a super weekend. We've got a long day tomorrow. It's probably about a 14-hour day tomorrow, gearing up for Sunday for the bike show. If you are coming down, come along to uh, Eclipse Motorcycles Sunday the 7th. Start at 10 o'clock. We're going to be there from probably stupid o'clock in the morning. Uh, Jamie's going to be with us, Andy GSO Tractor, Simon GTR, Plus, of course, all the YouTubers and TikTokers. So watch out for the live feeds going up during Sunday. Uh, but until the next time, guys, enjoy the weekend. Be well. And uh, from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me. Ride safe and have a good one. Take care, everybody. Uh